Over the last few weeks, I've thrown nothing but MVP discs. Now, MVP distance drivers have been a little bit of a struggle. The rest of the bag has been coming along pretty nicely. I feel relatively confident. Today, I want to answer the question, are MVP discs ruining my distance? Now, I'm not expecting there to be some massive difference in distance. The biggest thing for me, honestly, is the hand feel. The distance drivers from MVP just feel so bad to me. I do not enjoy anything, really, even like 13 speeds are not great, but the hand feel, you know, it's just something I'm so, I always think if a disc feels good, you can learn how it throws. But when there's no discs that feel good from MVP in the distance driver category, it's hard to want to learn how one throws. So these would usually be my go-to distance drivers. The Discmania DD1, one of my favorites for accuracy. So we got a few of those. The Scorpius from Millennium, I think this is one of the best distance drivers ever made. It's pretty much a version of Destroyer, a bottom stamp star destroyer, and a Halo Boss. Now these are all discs that I really enjoy throwing, but they're backups, okay? I didn't want to come out here with my actual go-to distance drivers, because I feel like that doesn't quite level the playing field. We have relatively unknown MVP distance drivers for me, and then we have brand new, not beat up, you know, versions of my go-to discs that I typically bag. There's three keys to disc golf, driving, approaching, and putting. You need all three to do this disc sport. Now this test should be relatively simple. Throw the discs down, measure them with a rangefinder, see what ones go further. So I ranged the bush down on the corner, 141. I ranged to a tree all the way across the sidewalk, 162 in meters. We'll split the difference, go 150 for all the way across times 3.28 equals 492 feet. Should be just about all the way across this field, which should be just enough distance because 480 is typically like my absolute smacker of a distance driver, like max distance. Real quick, I guess I should go over the MVP discs we're throwing today. We got a Photon, which is actually probably one of my favorites for just consistent distance shots. We got two Octanes, a relatively stable, a little bit flatter one, a little bit flippier, domey one. We got the Trail, which I know is a 10 speed, but I actually think it's probably my furthest flying MVP driver. And then we got a Domey Trace, which is kind of like, in terms of hand feel, the only one that I really just enjoy. It kind of falls right into the Wraith, you know, DD1 style category. Since we got five for MVP, we're gonna go with five for my lineup as well. Two DD1s, the Halo Boss, the Scorp, and the Destroyer. We're gonna throw this DD1 as a warm up just to kind of get ourselves a little bit of a read on what we're dealing with here. A little Tailwind. <sighs> That was really high, but it, I mean, honestly, it kind of flew nice. That was the first non-MVP distance driver that has left my hand in like 17 days now, maybe. Oh, that felt nice. God, <laughs> this has been fun, but I'd be lying if I said I'm not excited to like throw my actual bag again. Octane first, stable one, just because I feel like it'll give us a good kind of ground level distance shot, see what we're working with. That was actually a really nice shot. The wind just kind of killed it. We're gonna throw a few on just like a stock hyzer, you know, not really max distance, just kind of like driver consistent distance type shots. And then we're gonna hit some smackers. We're gonna go DD1 here. Why did I throw that so much higher? I feel like it's just gliding though. So obviously today's video is not gonna be a perfect science because it's just impossible for me to throw a bunch of consistent distance shots. It's probably the weakest part of my game. All right, Plasma Octane. I think if we hit this left to right, it'll really go. Oof. That's just gotta come out now. It's gonna be so funny if like the MVP driver goes the furthest. We're gonna try Halo Boss, another 13 speed. Octane being a 13 speed. This should be much more stable, so we'll probably have to put a little bit of flex on it. Oof. That seemed pretty good. So far, there doesn't really seem to be much difference. Where I'm at right now, there's really only a few courses where you'd actually 
get to open up on distance drivers. And honestly, you're not even really opening up on distance drivers. You're kind of just throwing controlled distance driver shots, NSRA being one of those courses. But there's none of them that I'm trying to bite off distance. It's just, you know, controlled distance driver, 350, 375, whatever you bite off is completely fine. So I like haven't thrown a power shot in a few weeks now. We are planning to get out to Kayak Point for this series, before the end of this series. Potentially doubles with Blitz once again out there, which could be really fun. So that'll kind of be the first time I actually get to like open up on some MVP distance drivers and really see how they fly. We're gonna go Photon, although this disc is flat, I do feel like it just is very fast. Oof. Feels weird to like throw hard. I haven't done this in forever. That did not seem like it went very far. Like if, the, if that even went 375, I'd be happy with it, honestly. OG Horizon DD1 Stratosphere. I've only thrown this like once before even ever. Got this one from James. We're gonna go big, left to right. I know these ones are a little bit flippier. Let's see if we can get some flight out of it. Ooh! Yeah, if that comes out. Wow. That seemed like a smack. Just after that one, we gotta go trace because I feel like it's a very similar disc. Ooh! Oh, I felt like that was very like a, the same flight, but that did not fly very well. Scorpius. We're gonna hit this one just on a hyzer. Ooh. I felt pretty good. Yeah, I will say my distance throw right now, the timing's a little wonky. It doesn't feel great. So the trail is one that I think, if I hit it right, it's gonna go. I'm gonna try and hang it kind of left side, hyzer flip, turn it over, drag it back, and kind of see where it gets. Just stable up though and come out. Come on, come on. That's a, that's a bomb. That I don't think got as far as the black and yellow DD1, but even me not quite getting any push out of the end of that flight, I feel like it kind of like, kind of smoked like it's a 10 speed but I swear it, it it goes further than any other MVP driver I've thrown bottom stamp star DS hyzer oh baby that might be the winner no that's not that far really so while we walk down here I just want to cover a few things I know I'm gonna get a ton of comments saying, Brad, try this, try this, try this. Anything over 11 speed from MVP, I do not have an interest in trying. I've felt them, I've gone to shops, they don't feel good. And plain and simple, if a disc doesn't feel good, I will not learn how to throw it. I, it's just, that's the type of player I am. So, you know, the things like the Trace, the Photon, and the, the Trail, they just feel amazing. And I can pretty much do everything I need to do with those discs. Also, like I said, I'm not in an area where I need distance drivers right now, which kind of sucks because it's fun to throw some bombs, but it's just not the most important aspect of a bag build right now is the distance driver. So if I can have a couple that go far enough that are consistent, I'm happy with that. So we got the Photon and the DD1 green pink rim right here. <laughs> These are the shortest shots. The Octane is right there. so. That's pretty much in the same camp. I feel like these are gonna just be absolute noodle arm numbers. Getting 111 meters. 111 times 3.28, 364. <laughs> this is what I mean if you followed this channel for a while. Now these throws weren't anything crazy. I've always said I throw mid ranges further than I throw distance drivers because my arm speed is like mid 60s. Like my average backhand throw I think is like 64. But my RPMs are 1400 to 1500. So my spin is pretty like very high, but my speed is so mediocre average that I can get mid ranges to fly so well and so far. Like I can basically max potential mid ranges and I can throw them like 375 feet. But then you have me on a throw where I don't even remember what happened with these. I know the Photon was just like stock hyzer. 
because I don't have arm speed on backhand, they don't do much. This shot, these shots right here, just they make me feel really bad about myself because that's horrible. But uh, man, if we even broke 450 today, I'd be surprised. Right before this challenge, I was not even right before, but for a little while before this, I was pretty much at the point where when it came to backhand distance drivers, I'm throwing a DD1. It's neutral. It goes further than I think everything else basically. And I was like, I just don't need anything else. I'll take accuracy over distance. And I'm trying to build my game around my, my skills rather than trying to do something that I'm simply not good at. Like I throw forehands further than I throw backhands. But basically I came to the conclusion, the 11 speed DD1, that's, that's all I need, you know? And, and I'm happy with that. For now, I do want to work on improving my arm speed on the backhands, but I know it's going to take time and I'd rather just really be accurate than have more distance right now. So Scorpius right there, Destroyer right here. I don't know if there's any MVP ones close by. Let's take a look, see what we got here. 124 it's looking like. So 406 feet with both of these, I'm super happy with. The Destroyer and the, the Destroyer I thought was gonna bomb, but like I said, these are brand new distance drivers as well, so they don't have any flip up and ride in them really. Right at that 400 foot mark is where I like to be able to control a hyzer, and that's where I feel like I can really smack a hyzer and just know where it's gonna land, just spike it. And then, you know, as you work and get to know, you know, a beat up destroyer, you can throw it on that same hyzer line, but then because it's gonna beat up, it's gonna fly, you know, 20, and then I'm gonna get 425, and then, you know, maybe a little more even, and you're gonna get 450, and then you're kind of getting into that 450 range. But overall for these, Happy with those. All right, we got the boss here. Should be a little bit further. 130 times 3.28, 425, 426.4. But I feel like that's pretty solid. That was like a flex shot. Once again, this disc, I've probably maybe got 10 throws on it. So it's a pretty much brand new Halo boss. And it's pretty beefy. So take that. Octane right here, Horizon DD1 right there. Dang, the trail is actually a solid 45 shorter. So one of these is gonna be the furthest one. 138 times 3.28, 452. That's pretty much, you know, pretty much right where I would hope to be, I guess. But if we remember, this Octane was like a full, full flight tailwind bomber, 13 speed. So I'll take that, pretty solid. To be honest, the, the Octane and the DD1 might be the same exact distance. Let's measure that one. 140, so I think that was what, one meter further? 140 times 3.28, 459. I forget that like a meter shorter is actually like, you know, a few feet. <laughs> 459 with the Stratosphere DD1, big left to right shot. Ooh, I'm happy with that. I think obviously we had like a, a different little spread of shots today. I never said they were gonna be the most accurate. I never said this was gonna be a fair battle. I just wanted to come out here, measure some throws, and kinda of test it out. I feel like it might mean something in the fact that an 11 speed went you know, a little further than a 13 speed. I think what it really comes down to, guys, is just the fact that I'm so much more comfortable with the hand feel of these Innova Discmania distance drivers and it's confidence you know confidence is everything in disc golf and if you don't think you're going to throw a disc far you're probably not going to throw a disc far it's tricky you know angles everything you know some some someone commented about how mvp discs being heavier in the rim are meant to they need more spin to fly further i was like well yeah that's me i have like really really high spin like pro pro level spin with like mid-range speed so i should be in the category of people that throw mvp discs drivers further but that is not the case for me could that be because i just haven't worked with them enough haven't you know gave them the time they deserve maybe but they simply don't feel comfortable and until mvp is paying me to throw their discs i'm not i'm not going to do that you know i'm going to continue to throw my distance drivers that I think make me the best disc golfer that I can be. Just to get a read on this one, we're gonna measure the trail also. You guys hopefully can see the flight well to kind of know that it never fought out. 126, but I feel like even with it never pushing forward, the trail got some good, good distance. So 
yeah, 413 from the trail, 10 speed. That's very solid. And I definitely kind of gave it more hyzer or honestly, maybe just not thrown it as hard and kind of let the disc do the work. And instead of really trying to force it on that hyzer flip shot, we ain't even going to talk about this thing. Well guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this one. Short and sweet. Just wanted to get out here, test out this theory because in my head, I was definitely thinking that I was losing some distance because it just felt like the discs weren't popping but also i think part of it has to do with the fact that almost every disc i'm bagging for this mvp challenge is pretty much brand new which a lot of times discs they're just simply not going to fly as far when they're brand new they need to beat up get a little bit of glide especially coming from a bag that i would usually bag where every disc is well seasoned multiple seasons or i you know get it out of a used bin and it's been thrown by someone else hundreds and hundreds of times those discs are always going to fly a little bit further so it could be the fact that you know this trace isn't going to fly that far because it's it's brand new and then I kind of feel like I realized that today with even throwing, you know, my go-to distance drivers, they still didn't quite seem to have that mid-flight glide that I'd be looking for out of my distance driver because they're all relatively brand new. Like they're not beat in at all. And, uh, you know, they just are going to lack a little bit of that glide that they get after, you know, having a few months under the belt of smacking some trees, skipping off some roads, whatever. But just wanted to kind of test the theory. These distance drivers... I miss throwing these, I'm not gonna lie. So we'll see. MVP distance drivers, let me know your thoughts if you want. I think I've probably heard them though. Uh, you know, I think a beat up destroyer for me and a beat up DD1 for me is, is never really gonna get beat in terms of distance. Maybe once I do develop some more speed in my throw, but until then, you know, accuracy for me and hand feel is kind of kind of king. So we're just looking for what provides us with that and mvp distance drivers is simply not that thanks for watching guys hope you're enjoying this series if you're looking to support me and this channel directly head over to powergripusa.com use code broderick10 that's going to save you you know 10 percent on pretty much everything unfortunately not mvp they do not allow us to discount right now broadbirds i have one right here they're still available for pre-order. So what we did is we ordered a little bit more than what got pre-ordered. So if you pre-ordered one, the order's out. We're waiting on Inva to ship them to us. So we're not waiting, but we ended up just going with a little bit more so that if more people wanted to get in on the pre-order over the next couple weeks until the shipment comes in, there would still be a little bit of quantities available. So you should be able to go there, grab one of these or anything else. BirdieDiscGolfSupply.com. Use code FrisbeeClub. Saves you 10% there on any birdie molds. And then Squatch right now. I think they shut off the player codes because they're running like the 20% off sale. So the Squatch bags are like, they're basically giving them away because at first you could combine the Squatch my code with the deal and it was like, they're probably, probably not making any money on them. So I understand that, but they are still 20% off. So it's a great time to pick up a Squatch if you're looking to do that. But thanks for watching guys. We will see you in the next one. Creator of a Frisbee Club, the man, motherfuckers. The man, the myth. And right here, I have a Frisbee bag. It holds all my Frisbees, the ones I like.